हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई प्रे फॉर यू ऑल गॉड गिव यू अ लॉन्ग लाइफ एंड यू लिव ऑलवेज हैप्पी देयर प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर सपोर्टिंग मी सो लेट स्टार्ट टू डे इन्फॉर्मेशन दीज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन दिन आर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई हैव टू टेल यू समथिंग गो टू गूगल डॉट कॉम and search to naropinions.com and open this site here you can see the latest news dinar opinions and dinar guru updates on a single page so visit this site for more information vertical swiss ambassador expresses his country's desire to invest in iraq everything is supposed to be triggered saturday night which is the 16th but it really shows up for us in the internet group monday morning by noon it's when we're supposed to get our notifications and then we get set our appointments and go in for exchanges either monday afternoon evening or tuesday we should have christmas before thanksgiving in a sense to understand the significance of this new peg we first need to discuss what a currency peg is a currency peg is a system where a country's currency value is tied to another major currency for iraq that's been the us dollar for a long time but now there are changes on the horizon during my conversation with the cbi contact on wednesday i learned that the new peg is officially established this means the iraqi dinar will have a different anchor which should stabilize the economy so why the change the current peg to the dollar has created vulnerabilities for the iraqi economy with fluctuating oil prices and global economic shifts relying solely on the US dollar isn't ideal by establishing a new peg iraq is looking to diversify its economic stability the cbi believes this will provide a stronger foundation for future growth i also learned that news articles will be rolling out soon to educate the citizens about this transition it's important for the public to understand how this change impacts them for many families in iraq this peg could mean a change in purchasing power budgeting for daily expenses could become easier as the economy stabilizes now let's talk about the implications of this new peg first it could lead to more confidence in the local currency when citizens believe in their currency's strength they're more likely to invest and save in it second we might see a shift in international investments investors are always on the lookout for stable economies and a new peg could signal that Iraq is moving in the right direction but it's not just about the local scene this change might affect the region positively as well imagine a neighboring country looking at Iraq's economic stability and wanting to trade more this could lead to stronger ties and economic cooperation in the area of course it's also crucial to address potential challenges during this transition Switching pegs can cause some initial instability while everyone adjusts. But with the right communication and education, the CBI can help smooth this over. This is where the news articles come in. Education is key for the citizens to embrace these changes positively. They need to understand the benefits but also be aware of potential challenges. Have you felt the buzz in the news this week? Everywhere look, the H is the main topic conversation. But what does that really mean for you many are saying that the HCL can't just stand alone it has to come with a new exchange and that raises a big question when will this happen I've always believed that the moment the HCL is mentioned we're just a moment away from seeing the new exchange rate so why are people saying we're closer than ever to the HCL today we're diving deep into what this all means for us moving forward let's break down the HCL HCL stands for Housing Capability List and it's been crucial for many people. This week, it seems everyone is talking about it because of its connection to the new exchange rate. Let's understand why it can't exist without the new exchange rate. When countries adjust their monetary policies, they look at several factors, including the HCL. Picture this, you're planning a trip abroad. You change your money into the local currency based on the current exchange rate. But if that rate changes, suddenly you have a different amount to spend. Now imagine that on a national scale, 
this is how the HEL and new exchange rate affect economies. So, what are the indicators we're seeing that suggest the HEL is on its way? Several analysts are pointing out that discussions among financial leaders are heating up. They are emphasizing that the HEL must align with these new rates. In recent conversations, there's been talk of upcoming changes in both policy and structure. Let's take a look at a few examples. Last year, we saw how countries that aligned their housing policies with their money supply began to stabilize their economies. I know it feels complex, but let's simplify it. The message is clear, housing and monetary policies are linked. When one starts to change, the other must follow closely. Now, let's discuss the signals we should keep an eye on. Firstly, watch for government announcements regarding housing reforms. These are a direct indicator that they are ready to roll out the HEL. Secondly, changes in the currency markets can give us clues. If you see unusual activity in currency exchange rates, it may signal an imminent shift. And keep your ears open for comments from financial leaders. They usually drop hints about what's to come in their speeches. I want you to think about this, when was the last time you heard about changes like this in your local news? Did you notice the ripple effects in your community? This is why being plugged in is so essential. Next, let's talk about timing. Could we really be just moments away from that HCL announcement? In my opinion, once we see the HCL rollout, we won't be waiting long for the new exchange rate. It's almost like a dance where both partners, HCL and exchange rate, have to move in sync. Why do I hold this view? Because history shows us that when housing programs are on the verge of implementation, new economic policies follow closely behind. Let's not forget about the international impact. Many countries are looking at each other's policies right now. As they see success in one nation, it inspires change in another. This interconnectedness means we must pay attention to global trends. Let's reflect again on what the HCL could mean for various groups. For home buyers, it offers potentially lower costs. For investors, it may open new opportunities. And for everyday citizens, it could mean job creation in sectors tied to housing development. But here comes the big question again, what happens if there's a delay? What if the new exchange rate doesn't align right away with the HCL? It could lead to confusion in the market, and that's something we all want to avoid. So how do we stay ready? Keep yourself informed by following trusted news sources. Engage in community discussions to share thoughts and predictions. Be proactive, this is your economy, after all. So, there you have it. The buzz around the HCL and new exchange rate is more than just chatter. It's a crucial topic that affects us all in ways big and small. Now, I want to hear from you. What do you think about the HCL and its potential impact? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found today's discussion helpful, don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. Together, let's stay on top of what's happening in our economy and be prepared for the changes ahead.